Hi, I'm Mary Hughes. I'm a political strategist from Palo Alto, California. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about my career path. I would not necessarily have guessed that I would end up doing the work that I do today, but I found my way by a series of curiosities, good mentors, um, and by trying things. So when I started uh, out, I, I thought I might be a professor, and I studied a great deal about American history um, and literature and art, and I nearly took the path that would have taken me to be a professor, but I knew somewhere inside that it wasn't the activist life that I wanted to have an influence on things in the world. So I didn't do that. I spent some time working on Capitol Hill. I was curious there about the fact that while everyone seemed to have an equal say in what the debate was, it was the lawyers that generally won the debates and wrote the legislation. So I went to law school. I didn't intend to practice law when I went to law school, but I thought these things would be good to know. And once again, the path I thought I would take was not the path I took. So I practiced law for a little while and learned a great deal about business and about the legal system and about economic interests in our country. And at the time, in the late 1970s, it was a wonderful place for a woman because there were not that many women attorneys and I was afforded as a young woman a great deal of credibility and I enjoyed that. But the practice of law left something unexplored for me. And I had an opportunity one time to work on a United States Senate campaign and I worked with the widest variety of people. I worked with people who were in labor unions, I worked with people who were in big corporations. I worked with moms who stayed at home and I got to work with um, a lot of folks who were community activists who had spearheaded the campaign. And I remember very clearly standing in the back of a big gathering the night before the election thinking to myself, this is the work I want to do. And it took me a long time. I was in my early 30s when I had that experience, but it locked in for me. And I knew that there were opportunities to bring people together to improve their lives and the, and the lives of their communities, and that there was something magical about that when it worked, and there was something wonderful about being able to contribute to that process so that people could be um, successful. Uh, we didn't, that campaign was not successful, by the way, and that's a lesson I would share. If I had to do anything over again on the path to finding the right place for me, I would say venture more and fear failure less. Um, there are many, many books and wonderful speeches given on this topic. Um, and where I live, in Silicon Valley, it is a religion failure. If you're not failing all the time, you're not trying hard enough. But for most of us, failure comes with a little anxiety and risking is not always something we women are encouraged to do. Uh, but that would be my best, my best recommendation, is that when you think you're interested in something, don't say no to yourself because you're fearful of it. Um, you never know what you're going to find down that road, and it might just be the thing that sets your soul on fire. So I would say try more, venture more, and don't worry about failing at something. Um, it's very hard to learn and to become expert if you stay within the bounds of what you've already experienced and know. And it's very important to broaden your worldview, test your ideas, debate with people who are smarter than you. It's a bit like playing tennis against someone who's quite good. Uh, it, you'll be surprised how much it raises your own game. But that's a very important part of finding your way.